Hey guys, MT here, just bringing you a match of Search and Destroy on Rundown. I'm going with the ACR bling, I got the Red Dot Sight Silencer, Stopping Power Pro, and Ninja Pro. Don't like those heartbeat sensors to see me. So anyway, going to be playing here with a bunch of my SC buddies, Shadow Company, HQ.com, and I uh, hope you enjoy. It looks like I'm going to be camping a little bit here. If you don't do that in Search and Destroy, you can either camp or you can rush out. And I do rush out in the ending here. In the ending rounds, I go in and play with my P90, but uh, not yet. I'm on defense and kind of playing a team, a team battle here. At this point, I think there's a guy. I can hear him around the corner. He's thinking about coming over the bridge. He actually takes out one of my teammates, and I get him. Should be happening pretty soon here. Yep, I hear him coming around. There he is. I'll take him out. So anyway, you'll notice that this video is a little different than all of my other ones, is because the video quality is a little bit different. I'm actually recording directly on my television because I was using that Dazzle from Pinnacle and it works great, except I can't really see anything. So I have trouble being able to play and record because with the pat pinnacle dazzle you can't play in HD and this way I'm playing in HD recording with my JVC handheld recorder putting it on my computer so just another option uh, I know that I like to do it this way because I can play a lot better especially in search where there's pretty much no room for any kind of an error and you don't obviously don't get respawned so let's see so I put that claymore down there and um, probably, I think I'm going to get a couple kills here. Um, you guys like to come around the corner. I already saw that in the first round, so it's obviously not a person. I guess I thought it was at some point. I don't, know. don't tell me you guys have never done that shot at a tree branch because you thought it was a guy's head. Now, this guy shows up right in front of me. I don't know what he's doing, but he's like, he shows up. I start reloading. And I've got this chronic reload syndrome going on. I don't know if you all have that, but I do. And it seems like every time I kill anybody, I reload immediately. And it, sometimes that comes back to bite me. And so I'm trying to get out of that habit, especially with the P90, because this clip's a little bit larger. So, um, yeah, so search and destroy. I find that using, uh, with the submachine gun, you use marathon. I don't need scavenger. I usually like scavenger because it uh, works out nicely in longer matches. But the rounds are so short. I don't know what this guy was doing. I guess asking to get shot. Anyway, yeah, rounds are so short, I don't find the need to have extended clips or anything like that. So I just use a, either Marathon or, a, in this case, Bling works nicely because uh, sometimes, I don't know about you all, but sometimes I have trouble aiming with the iron sights. I find it a little more accurate. But there's Drock. He wants to play some demo. He didn't play a lot of demo with him. So if you like uh, playing demo, uh, add up Drock. Underscore zero zero seven. He's a great player. Play with him all the time. So um, yeah. So the the quality of the video actually happens to do with the TV too. I play on a forty two inch plasma Samsung. I find the plasma is a little bit better for the um, for the video gaming. Is a little little bit less uh, smudging around the images and. Uh, as you move from side to side on the TV, you know if you're not always stuck in the same spot it doesn't the image doesn't warp at all which is nice alright so second round here now in that last one we saw that guy come right up through there so he knows that I'm gonna be putting the claymore there again so I put the claymore back again and I got these Triton Axe Pro headsets so I can hear everything that's going on if you don't know what those are check those out they're really good and uh, they have surround sound uh, system so if the guys off to my right I can hear them so in a second here, I hear the guy, I hear his footsteps, actually, just to the right, turn around, and get him. So, I get my Predator missile out, and like, there's my chronic reload syndrome. I really got to stop doing that. And I think I get one. Yeah, get one there. And uh, I see, while I'm calling out my Predator, that they're all at B. So I call it out to my teammates, say, hey, they're all at B, and I uh, try and make my way over there. I always like playing Search and Destroy with a team because it's hard. I get frustrated playing, well, here, there's a guy up in that 
in that building right there, and he quick scopes me. Nice shot right here. Bam. So I wasn't paying attention very much there, but hey, don't tell me it hasn't happened to all you too. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, teammates. I like having teammates, uh, especially people that you know, because it works out so nicely when they start talking to you and they can communicate with what's going on. Um, it works out nicely. I always like to spectate, see what my teammates are doing. I mean, I know that most of us are playing on our phones or texting our girlfriends saying that I'll be over in just a short amount of time, but, uh, <laughs> well, not saying that I do that, girlfriend. I know I get a couple calls here, but, uh, you know, you do what you gotta do. <laughs> so anyway, so you got, uh, communication and you can watch, uh, watch the other teammates and see what they're doing and watch their tactics, you know, especially if you have a lot of people that you know. In this case, you know, I got all, I got all these great players, and uh, so I just watch them and see what they're doing, and sometimes learn something else. What's going on? So, search and destroy. Yeah, lots of waiting around. I don't like that so much. I do like the fast pace of the other games, but I find search and destroy to be kind of like a huge chess match. You got to try and outthink the other team, and figure out where they're gonna be, and. Uh, I Get a nice diffuse here. I think CP comes and does that. But first, might get it. Oh, I forget. So we got CP first, Nick, uh, myself, and one other guy. Sure, I'll have to look at the uh, look at the video here. But uh, yeah, the only thing I don't like about recording with the video camera is sometimes the colors get a little skewed, and uh, also sometimes the uh, the focus doesn't work quite right. But uh, I don't know. I find it to be uh, the best alternative when I'm trying to actually um, to actually play well and record. So here we go, I take the bomb. I like to take the bomb because uh, I don't know, I, d I find that I don't die all that much during the actual round so if I have the bomb and my whole other team gets wiped out, and here's a good one here, oh, I see him already, and my team gets wiped out, I have it already which is uh, which is always nice. Now upcoming here is this awesome kill by Deluxer King, Deluxer King 13. So he's up there. I see him, and I'm like, oh well, I'll just pick him off real quick, you know. So I'm looking at him, and unbeknownst to me, he's got his throwing knife out and wipes me out. And I obviously find this very amusing. I don't know why I thought it was so funny, but probably because I like it a lot. This is pretty. I like to give shout outs to things that are uh, very good quality and I think that counts so as you see I also try, I, I talk to him at the end of the round but uh, cool guy give him a friend request to uh, check out his table to his uh, channel YouTube channel yeah see I'm just reading his name so I really like to uh, give the shout out to him check out his YouTube channel should be in the comments or in the description here and uh, so for killing me with his knife he's got his youtube channel good player so check him out the locks king 13 but i get him back on this round i get a nice little streak with my p90 so i go the same route uh, i go right on this map um, find it easier because there's those two bridges that you have to cross and it's this one's the easier one i think especially if you got marathon or lightweight i don't have that but uh you can just jump right down into the water and uh come pop right up here so here I am. I see a, I see a red dot on my screen. I know there's a sniper up here. I get one. I see this guy coming up the steps. Get another one. Try to do my chronic reload, but I saw the barrel there. Get three, and that much pretty does it. Pretty much does it for this uh, round. So thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and uh, check out Deloxer King 13 his channel. And uh, hope you enjoyed the commentary. More to come. I think I end this match 10 and 2. So nothing spectacular, but, uh, you know, pretty respectable, I think. Didn't die a lot. I like playing smart, so check out other videos, and I will see you all later.